Good day, everybody. Today, we are going to talk about hypothesis test for comparing two proportions. So I'll share my computer screen with you. So here the null hypothesis is P1 equal to P2 and alternate is P1 not equal to P2 where P1 is the population proportion population proportion 1 of population one and P2 is population proportion of population two. Okay. Alternatively, we can write same thing in a different format is uh, eight zero P1 minus P2 equal to 0 and H alternate is P1 minus P2 not equal to 0. Okay. So if I may erase this. And not equal to 0. Okay. So what is our test statistic in this case? So remember the test statistic will be a Z still. Okay, it will be Z. Okay, which is observed value, observed value minus expected value whole thing will be divided by Standard error. Standard error. Okay. So, the test statistic is of the form Z is equal to P1 hat minus P2 hat minus expected difference in the population proportion divided by the standard error is given as p bar q bar times 1 over n1 plus 1 over n2. Now, let me explain these terms to you. Okay. So, of course, P1 minus P2 is the hypothesized difference in population proportion. Proportions. This comes from null hypothesis. And uh, P1 is sample pro proportion 1 that comes from sample 1. Sample 1 from population 1, right? And of course, P1 hat is equal to X1 over N1, where X1 is number of successes in sample 1 
in sample one divided by sample size sample one size okay then if i further move it up p2 hat is equal to x2 over n2 number of successes in sample 2 divided by sample 2 size. Okay. Now, what is a P at in the denominator for the standard area is given as x1 plus x2 divided by n1 plus n2 and <clears throat> sorry this is i meant to correct it this is p bar the average uh, sample proportion and q bar is equal to uh, 1 minus p bar okay and if i move it further up and square root of p bar times q bar times 1 over n1 plus n2 is the standard deviation. Or standard error of the sampling distribution of P1 at minus P2 at, okay. So, then if I create some space. Okay, and uh, after calculating the test statistic find the probability or p value of obtaining a test statistic as extreme or more extreme than what we have done, or more extreme, okay. Then compare the p-value with the level of significance, with the level of significance. If P less equal to level of significance, of course, is given to alpha. If P less equal to alpha, decision is reject with zero. And if P greater than alpha, decision is failed to reject with zero. Okay, so I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible on that. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And if you like this video also, please share it with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting 
the red subscribe button on the bottom right corner. I'll come back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.